Okay, so I have this old, not very old, but USB touchscreen car player. I thought I make a portable player for my son. He can watch movies here and so on. This is a um, power source that I try. We'll see if it has enough to get this working. Like that. Okay, it has enough power, but we need to try with speakers and put it some, put on some volume. Okay, that works. So we need to make a case for this, and I have that old 8 inch speaker box that I will use. We'll see what happens with this. I've connected this player for this one speaker only. And we'll see if it has enough power. Doesn't have antenna, so put this. Okay, so that works. Okay, we try with this USB. Okay, that was too much for this. Okay, now we try with this battery. It's 9 amp. We we'll see how much that takes. Okay, this is good. Let's start to pull this apart and see what we can get in here. Oh, there's a wall there, so we just got here. So I was thinking of making a hatch here, this one, and I need to cut the hole for the player, somewhere over there.
Okay, so not the player fits there, but I'm thinking of putting these stoppers here so I can, this just fits here like that. That's enough for that. Okay, I'll be removing all these speakers and then I need to first make the handle for carrying this thing then I need to do the soldering stuff to connect all the wires and stuff We use this for another purpose, this connector. So I have to make a two power supply wiring. I'll be making positive from this. These are negative. And the speakers. So I've changed the wires here. This is positive mine. There's a tape like here. Okay, so now here's all the negative wires. 
from the speakers, all three of them put together and all the positive. So now we need to take this. This is for the speakers. We connect all the four negatives like that and all the four positive. So if there's any other sound coming from rear, right, left, front, everything comes from that one speaker. So we now we just connect these. These connectors has have glue on in them so it will melt and make a very sturdy connection. Okay, now here's the other wires for the power supply. So these comes to battery. I'm I'm putting these Apico connectors. So I'll need to make a handle for these two. I use this mud mat piece and do some something like this here that's it Okay, my phone just died, so I made this antenna here. Hope it works, I haven't tried tested it yet. But I'll show you here how I made it. I have this wire here, cable, there's three. Cut one, the full cover off, then rotate these. Together, this is the center spike that goes to the bottom of the antenna place, and this wire you just rotate it over here, and hopefully this will help a bit for the channels to be found. I don't have a real antenna now, so this is what I use now. Then. We put this in place. I need to attach this somehow better with some silicone maybe. Then we put the battery in. This is the ground. This is positive. Okay, hopefully this works. Yes. Okay, I think it's that's it.
that works. We put this USB in. and so on and so on Oops. Oh, those are too wide 